Okay, so at this point I have uninstalled all of the bloatware and I have installed Novabench and I have rebooted. And let's run Novabench and see how it goes. Okay, so Novabench is finished and it's showing a score of 1149, which is, I can tell you, very good. Uh, the CPU is happy, GPU is happy. Really what we're looking for here is the disk. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it shows uh, a ridiculously slow speed of 125 megasecond for reading and a crazy fast rate speed of 656. That's because of the Intel Optane. I'll just show you Optane. It's called, it's handled under Intel Rapid Storage Technology. So let's just go take a look and you'll see that it runs just as a single disk. So under performance here, until Optane memory, you can see its status is enabled and it's running, it's taking a whopping 13 gig of the 16 gig that's there and it's combining it with a terabyte and uh, it's figuring out as we speak what needs to be moved onto the uh, SSD. Okay, so I've laid this down on a flat surface and I've taken the plastic off. Uh, the surface uh, most notably is uh, soft. Make sure that uh, you don't have anything on there that'll scratch the glass. And there's really uh, two things you need to know. Uh, the first is for this particular model, there are plugs here and here that you need to uh, pop out. And there are four little uh, uh, screws here that will come out with this uh, Allen key. So I'll just show you that. Just pop that in and they, these just spin out. So they're very easy. You just turn them to the left, then this will pop off. So just pop that out. Nice and easy. And you can see what's in there. Pop this one out. Nice and easy. There you go. I'm very careful to keep all my parts laid out. Okay, so I've now taken the four screws out with the Allen key, and bingo, that just pops off. Okay, so I'm going to use a Phillips head screwdriver and a little pressure. Just there you go. You can see that pop up. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, so now I've got this out. I'm just going to lift this up, lift this cover up. It's always easiest to start at a corner. Well, not always, but usually easiest. So let's just start moving this thing around. Come on. There you go. You can hear the clips. There we go. That's all happy. And note that this is the very first time it's been opened. So that's as hard as it is. Now, let's just take a look at the inside. So as I mentioned, let's start with the easy stuff. The DVD is on a very long ribbon cable, which snakes all the way back to the motherboard. Okay, this is your hard drive, which I, of course, am going to rip out and toss in the garbage. Well, of course, I won't do that. I'll use it as a spare, but I'll replace it with an SSD. Um, it's your CPU fan. All of your ports. Memory is under here. So there's a number of points uh, I should make. Number one is that you don't have to take off this uh, uh, mounting bracket if you don't want to. It, this mounting bracket is attached just to this uh, heat cowling and uh, if you pull off the heat cowling, well, this just comes with it. It's not bolted down into the system. The second thing that's important is that the uh, hard drive uh, is really just held in by that screw there. You don't have to um, um, pull any of this off if you just want to change the hard drive. So that's easy enough to do. Just pop that screw at the back, slide this out, lift it up, pop off the SATA connector and you're on your way. And the last thing I want to point out is uh, at the start I was showing you that you don't uh, unscrew the uh, little screws here. You just turn them a quarter turn, half turn, and you'll hear it pop. And that's because that's what it is. And that's because that's what it is right there. Okay? And there's also a screw there which I pulled out and then you can see here that the mount is hooked in so we just slide it out of it. There we go. And it just pops out nicely. Easy peasy stuff. So I've got that out. Now I'm just going to pop the SATA connector off. So there it is. I've got the SATA connector off. Then the housing came right off. And there's the very crappy hard drive. So now you can see it's a single platter so it's very light. 
that you don't really care though. It's a, not a laptop, but I'm going to sub in a, an SSD. So HP has thought this through a little more and they've developed this chassis for more than one type of hard drive, which is nice. So take a look at this. If I take my, take my SSD and I put it in the chassis, you will see that they put screw holes on the top, which is quite nice. Let me just get that straight. And my screw holes will line up in just a second here. There they are. So I'm going to now screw this down and then reconnect it all. Okay, so I've screwed that in with three screws. Now something to note is that the screws that it shipped with are uh, very uh, heavy thread and you need a fine thread for this. So I did have to change it for other screws. Um, now, practically speaking, it's an SSD. It doesn't even need to be screwed down at all. If you're really in a panic, you could just leave it in there loose. Uh, it's not like it's going to go anywhere. Um, and there's no moving parts. So in a cage, there's really nothing to, to worry about. That being said, it's bad form and you really shouldn't, but uh, you could if you were in a hurry. So, okay, so let's just connect this back up now. So I'm going to slide this back in. There we go. Slide it in. I'll put that screw in. Oh, well, let's put the, let's put the uh, SATA connector back on. There we go. And I'll put that screw in there. And you start at the top and you fold it down towards the bottom. And you just go around and you push it. Now I've already clacked this down. Here we go. I heard it go crack, crack, crack a bunch of times. There we go. And it's good. Now I'll put the uh, stand back on and I'm going to fire it up. Okay, so here we are with the same HP 27 inch all in one. Uh, I've swapped out the spinning disk and I've added in a small 240 gig uh, SSD. It's actually quite old and it's still a SATA connected one, so it shouldn't be dramatic. But let's just see what the test results are. Let's start test. I can tell you from just boot up and running that the machine is night and day. So while the uh, Optane memory uh, with the spinning disk does help, actually quite dramatically so, it still doesn't hold a candle to just having a full SSD. So let's see what the results are here. Okay, so here are the results. As you can see, the score 1156, fine. Everything else is roughly the same, but look at that write speed difference. Now the read speed is slower and that's because I have not set, this, uh, set up the SSD to work with Optane. If I did, the read speed would be even faster. Read speed would be up around the 650 mark, uh, but I'm just trying to say just straight uh, comparison of SSD on a, a SATA bus compared with a spinning disk um, on the SATA bus and Optane. Uh, you can see that write speed is just massively.